This is an Arduino tutorial. Today we will be building a stopwatch slash timer. A fan production. For the timer, the minute hand and the second hand is entered in. Then the timer will go off. For the stopwatch, one button starts it and one button stops it. And then when the first button is pressed again, it will reset and start again. A buzzer and LED is also included for the stopwatch and the timer. Time to start building. Here are the parts you need. A light emitting diode. A buzzer. A potentiometer of some sort, somewhere around 50 kilo ohms. Three normally open momentary push buttons. Three 10 kilo ohm resistors. An Arduino Uno. A liquid crystal display. A big old nasty breadboard. Wire. You can never have too much wire. A standard A to standard B USB cord. And if you want to run it without it being plugged into your computer, a battery pack. Oh yeah, I forgot, a computer. So first start with your breadboard. Then attach your liquid crystal display as shown. If there are no headers attached already, you will have to solder some on. With your jumper wires, connect the 5 volt and ground pins from your Arduino to the power rails on your breadboard. Connect ground to pin 1 on your Arduino and 5 volts to pin 2 on your Arduino. Next, add the three buttons to the left of your breadboard. Add 10K resistors from one pin on your button to ground. Now add some jumper wire from the positive lead of the breadboard to the other pin on your button. Now connect a jumper wire from the resistor side of buttons, from button 1 to 10, button 2 to pin 9, and button 3 to pin 8 on your Arduino. Time for the buzzer. Connect the positive lead to pin 13 on your Arduino and the negative lead to ground. Also connect the LED where the buzzer is. Connect one side of the potentiometer to ground, one side of the potentiometer to positive, and the middle to pin 3 on your liquid crystal display. Connect pin 4 labeled RS to pin 12 on your Arduino. Ground to pin 5. Connect pin 6 on LCD to pin 11 on Arduino. Time to add the data pins. Put jumper wires in pins D7 through D4. Place the D7 wire on pin 2 on your Arduino. Place the D6 wire on pin 3 on your Arduino. Place the D5 to 4 and D4 to 5. Place the cathode of the LCD's backlight to ground. Place the anode to the 3 volt line on the Arduino. Insert the B side of the USB into the Arduino. Insert the A side to your computer. The LCD should light up as well as the buzzer and the LED going on three times. You can see I have a lot of variables included. Here is my liquid crystal library. Here is the setup for the liquid crystal, setting the pins. Remember, here's the data pins. Here's those two other pins. Okay, it says the buttons are an input, and the buzzer and LED pins an output. And here's the start where it says timer slash stopwatch, and delays a thousand. And here's the part where you can select between the timer and the stopwatch. Pretty simple there. And here's the timer part. It says minute hand, and here's the debouncing section. 
Here's another, the other debounce for the second hand. There's another weight there. And here's the stopwatch part. And I'm using the function millisecond on timer and stopwatch to keep track of time. Here's the part at the end of the timer. No, that's actually at the end of the stopwatch. That's the buzzer for the stopwatch, the beeper. And here is the beeper for the timer. And that's pretty much it. A little bit more. I'm just going on a quick overview of you. And yeah, time to upload. The link is in the description. Here is a demo. There's countless things you can do with this. So that pretty much sums it up. Do your things below. You know, rate, comment, subscribe, all that. And yeah, bye.